My name is Donnie Lowy from CloseHeadExplosion.com. Hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'd like to discuss with you how you can buy wholesale products through Amazon, meaning you can buy them on their Amazon website and then sell them to your customers, to your retail customers, or even to your wholesale customers. So there's two ways to do it. First of all, what I'm not suggesting to you is to buy products, let's say on Amazon and resell them on Amazon, or I mean, you can try, but that's not what I'm suggesting, and you'd have to look at their policy, see if you can actually do that. What I'm suggesting to you is to look on Amazon specifically for wholesale products, buy those products, and then sell them through your existing retail channel or a wholesale channel. So let's get more into it. If you go into Amazon, of course, you can search for products for yourself. You can search for products to buy as a gift, but you might not know that you can actually also look for wholesale products and their listings that are available that are specifically for wholesale lots. So try this, go on Amazon and search for, I don't know, let's just say wholesale gloves. And you're gonna find lots of wholesale gloves. You can, and of course, you know, everything changes all the time, so that lot might or might not be available when you watch this video. But you could search, let's say also, for example, for wholesale t-shirts, and you're gonna find a lot at least as you know, at the time that I'm making this video, for wholesale t-shirts. What you would do is you'd buy that lot and then you could sell it either on eBay, you can sell it through your store at a flea market. Now, you might wonder, why would someone buy a product from you that they can just buy through Amazon directly? And that is why you're gonna be looking only for wholesale lots on Amazon and not for regular retail items because the wholesale lot of t-shirts might have a price per unit of let's say a dollar fifty for each t-shirt but if someone was to go on Amazon and just search for t-shirts but let's say Fruit of the Loom t-shirts the price might be three dollars a t-shirt it might be two and a half dollars a t-shirt but if you buy it for a dollar fifty then you could sell it for two dollars for two and a half dollars each either the customer won't have to pay for shipping because you'll have it right there or the customer won't have to buy it in the quantity that will enable him to receive or enable her to receive free shipping so what do I mean by that Let's say they go, they're a customer, they have Amazon Prime, so they qualify for free shipping. But uh, the, in order to get the free shipping, they might have to buy 20 t-shirts, right? Because let's say that's what's available, meaning the seller who's offering the, to sell it as Prime is selling it in packages of, let's, let's say, even 12 t-shirts. But your customer doesn't need 12 t-shirts. Your customer only needs two or three t-shirts. So you buy the wholesale lot from Amazon, and then you allow your customers to buy individually one piece at a time. Another thing is, remember, people just simply might not know. You know, you're watching this video, but there might not be thousands or might not be, you know, many people who are aware that you can buy wholesale merchandise on Amazon. As a matter of fact, I wasn't aware of it until I was doing some research and I came across some lots that were wholesale lots on Amazon. And then I was like, wow, you know what? There's another market here that I wasn't aware of. Now, as a side note, you might actually want to contact Amazon sellers and offer to sell your merchandise to them as a closeout so you give them a low enough wholesale price or a low enough closeout price that it will allow them to sell your merchandise as wholesale lots on Amazon. Now, another way to get merchandise on Amazon for resale purposes is look for clearance items. Look for the deals that they have. I think they have something called deal of the day or a variation of that term and you're gonna look for those items that are being sold at a very low clearance price and then you could buy those items and sell them to your customers at a markup. Now you might ask, well why doesn't your customer just buy directly from Amazon? They might not have an Amazon account, they might not want to buy that item and have to pay, um, well if they buy the item and they get free shipping, okay, then they're okay, but let's say they'd have to pay the shipping on it and you could get it with free shipping because they don't have a Prime account or let's say you both have an Amazon account, you both can get shipping, you know, free shipping but you go check out that clearance item. Your customer doesn't know that the item was being offered for clearance. And let's say there's only 50 units left. You buy all 50 units, and then your customer just didn't know that item was available on Amazon. And then later on, you sell that cust the item to that customer. Or your customer saw the item on Amazon. Your customer did not need the item at the time, and therefore did not go ahead and buy that item from Amazon. Now you buy the item up. You get it at the clearance price. Let's say you get it at an 80% discount compared to the full retail price. 
and then you offer it for sale on your website, on eBay, at your store, at a flea market, at a garage sale, and then when that same customer needs that item, and the item is no longer available for sale on Amazon, and now they'd have to pay the full price for that item on Amazon, or they might only be able to get that item at, let's say, a 20% discount on, on Amazon, but you got it at an 80% discount, and then you sell it to, their, to the, your customer at a 50% discount, then you've made your money, right, between the 80% discount and the 50% discount. So, for example, let's say it's a $100 item, you got it in clearance through Amazon at, for, at an 80% discount, you only paid $20 for it. The customer didn't need the item at the time, didn't know the item was available, the customer didn't search for the item on Amazon, and now the Amazon is the, the item is only available on Amazon at a 20% discount. So that $100 item is only available on Amazon for at $80. And since you only paid $20 for that item, you could sell it to your customer at a 50% discount, which means you'll be charging your customer $50. Your customer is getting a great deal because they are getting a $100 item for only $50, and that item is only available otherwise on Amazon at $80. So you're saving them, you are saving them $30. And since you only pay twenty dollars for that item, you are making thirty dollars on that item. You're making basically, if I'm doing my math right, you're getting at twenty dollars. You are selling it at fifty dollars. So your your profit on it or your markup is, I believe it's two hundred over two hundred percent, two hundred fifty percent. I don't know the exact math without using the calculator, but you know you're doing pretty well on it. All right, so I hope you enjoy this video. My website is closethatexplosion.com. The next time you come to New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. Thank you and have a great day.